Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, I really wanted to put in this section like a sexy intro with a already done makeup look. But that didn't happen because my battery died. So you're just getting this right now. Let's get right into the skincare. I'm going to just finish my extra little bit of water that I got here. I'm gonna take my trusty Swifters Cotton Around and my trusty Clinique Exfoliating um, Lotion. And I'm just gonna wet this pad and remove the whatever is on my skin. <laughs> and I'm ready to get my day started. So this is the out the door in 20 minutes type makeup, no makeup routine. So, my skin is looking fairly, you know, refreshed. So now that that's done, my next step would be to add tons of moisture in my skin since you guys see how dry and dilapidated my skin looks. I just want some extra oomph. So what I'm going to do now at this point is I'm going to take my trusty e.l.f. sheet mask. It looks like this. And I'm just going to add that to my face. And the reason why I toned before I put this on my face is because I wanted to remove any additional dust or grime from my face. And my face was cleansed, but I didn't apply any skincare to my face. So I wanted to use my toner slash clarifying lotion and remove the excess um, dirt and stuff from my skin. Now look at this guys look how juicy that is like guys oof. i just want to show you guys how juicy that is go look how juicy oh, oh it's so good guys like it's so good oh. you guys are not getting the full effect oh. there you go there you have it we're going to put this on our face to replenish it and add moisture back into the skin. Oh my gosh, this is so moist. Like, I might use this again. It's too good to be true. This is how much I, I love this sheet mask. Like, it is just one of the best sheet masks, I, I'm telling you. It's one of the best sheet masks for hydration on the market, hands down so and it was cold because it was in a cold area so you know it's going to not only hydrate but tighten up those pores again and guys my I haven't had the opportunity to actually do my nails so my nails are looking you know just a little unwelcoming they're saying do not look at me do not look at me right now so that's that and then I like to just run the remainder like down my neck oh ensure that those crevices on corners get hydrated as well also like to rub some of the juices on my lips just so that that portion also gets moisturize and I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes or so and I'll come right back to you guys okay okay guys so it's been 10 minutes and I'm just going to remove this sheet mask oh Ooh, I feel so much better like honestly I'm not even laughing and look how juicy this thing still is like this is going to be recycled <laughs> I am definitely going to put this on again like I'm not even joking like that's how good that is and I'm gonna reuse it so I'm just going to you know kind of give myself my face a nice little massage wake up the skin you know get the blood rushing to the surface of the skin Um, I do have tight, 
jawbones and if you guys see when I go like this see how that muscle that muscle is just like uh, covered with like tension there just gonna kind of you know massage that out And I'm gonna give this a minute to just dry down, become one with my skin, you know. To speed up that process, I'm just going to use my trusty fan. I am gonna go in with my Mario Badescu um, Vitamin C Serum. I'm just gonna drop um, just a few drops on my face. Cause essentially, you're not wearing makeup with this look, in this look. You want your skin to look divine. You want it to look glowy. You know, I mean, when I'm doing this on a daily basis, this is the kind of makeup that I wear to work. I get it done like real fast. But because I'm showing it to you guys, it's just gonna take me a little bit longer to, you know. And if you look really close at my skin, you can see how much more hydrated it looks, you know. I am now going to go in with my eye cream and this is the Clinique Smart Eye Cream. It looks like that. Just featured this in my skincare video. I'm just going to squeeze that much onto my um, ring finger. Just going to do that little tapping motion and I'm just going to run it underneath the eye. While I'm looking up, run some on the lid. Right down the sides of my nails. And that's all I really need to do with my eye cream. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. Today I'm only gonna use one moisturizer since I use such a hydrating primer. I just don't feel like I need my two excessive moisturizers that I normally use on days when I'm more, you know, dry. So I'm just gonna dot that on the face. And just on the tops of my ears. Not inside the ears, just on the tops. So now my skin is looking really good. I'm really liking how this is looking. I do have a little blemish there that I'm not gonna even try to pick at or anything. I'm just gonna go into exactly what I do to keep my skin looking like amaze balls. okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start on my brows. Um, I use the Wet n Wild Color Icon Brow Pencil and this one is in the color Brunettes Do It Best. I use this in conjunction with my NARS sharpener. Like this is one of the best sharpeners on the market hands down. Like it it has made my life so much better because I was wasting product, okay? Sharpening it in other um, sharpeners. This one gets my pencil and look how sharp. Look how sharp it is. Like it just gets it. So I, on, on days when I'm not wearing foundation, I don't like to do a lot to my brows. Honestly, let me just zoom in just a little bit closer for you guys. Yeah, I don't like to do a lot to my brows. I, I, I just don't because if I'm not wearing makeup, it doesn't make sense to try too hard um, because it's just gonna look like it's overpowering the rest of your face and that never looks great you know so I basically just brush them up because I want to lift the face of course you know brush up my brows and my brows are relatively healthy and not the fullest I do have sparse areas but they are not the worst <laughs> you know what I mean so I just like to use a sharper side of my pencil and create somewhat of an arch and then I just kind of create the shape of my brow and fill it in <coughs> oh 
<coughs> Excuse me. Just try to fill it in real quickly. basically how I do my brow. I brush it up. And there goes my brows. I just want my brows to look like something was done and some care was taken. After I've done with the brows, then I try to moisturize my lips. Let's do that because these lips are looking a little, you know, it's a little, a little janky. And I'm just using my Mario Badescu lip balm to just get those nice and plump looking. <sighs> okay. Um, I recently got this liner in my Ipsy Glam Bag. It is the Ico London Waterproof Lash Enhancing Carbon Black um, Mascara. It looks like this. And I'm just going to create a very tiny miniature wing with this liner. And oh my, it is black. And. Create the slightest wing. The slightest wing to lift the eye. And my approach to wings is the same approach to brows. They do not have to be like, you know, identical. <laughs> now that that's done, I normally go in and I do a little bit of um, inner corner highlight. I love my inner corner highlight. If I don't have inner corner highlight, I'm 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 a nobody. Okay, inner corner highlight is essential for me, like on an everyday basis. My everyday inner corner highlight that I use and love to use and continue to use is this one from Wet n Wild. It is the Precious Petals, and I mean, everybody and their mama should know this highlight. Um, it's a very popular highlight and I'm just using this elf small precision brush and I just I kind of like my inner corner highlight to have a little bit of a um, edge to it I like when it it has a little point and then blend it out so after my inner corner highlight I like to go in with a mascara to open up the eyes. I like to start with a mascara primer. I use the Lancome one. It looks like this. This on my lashes, both my upper and lower lashes. And I, I like to give those a couple minutes to dry. My This eye is getting a little bit watery, <laughs> you know? Just ain't nobody got time. Just ain't nobody got time for that. I just use my Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara and I just coat my lashes. I don't know why I have to open my mouth like that, but apparently I have to open my mouth like that. And I should have curled my lashes, but on an everyday basis, I do not curl my lashes. I have to be honest. On an everyday basis, I don't curl my lashes. I just don't. Okay guys, so yeah. Um, I didn't curl my lashes. If you guys want to go ahead and curl your lashes, you are free to do so. But I, on the reggae, do not curl my lashes. I just put on some mascara. Okay, so the actual star of my no makeup glow up healthy looking skin is actually this product from e.l.f. It looks like this. It is called the Morning Dew, and it's basically a balm. It looks like this. That's how much product you get with this. 
looks like that and it's just a glow bomb I just run it everywhere I want to look glowy so this is how I normally use this product put it on the high points of my brows and on my lid in my crease I want to look I want to look healthy and dewy I bring it down underneath my eye and on to my cheeks I bring it up here um, I put some on my forehead each side of my forehead I bring it down to highlight that area put it on the tip of my nose do the same thing I did on that side I basically put it everywhere I would highlight. I put it on my cupid spell and on my chin. And then the most obvious thing is that you want it looks good, but you want to blend out this product so that it looks more natural and looks more, you know. So I normally just use my fingers and just kind of, you know, blend it into everything so that it looks natural, looks like, ooh, your skin, oh my god, your skin looks so glowy, what are you using, what moisturizer are you using, oh my gosh, girl, whatever you're using, I want to use too. Yeah, my skincare game is on point, but for the extra glow and the extra moisture, this is what I use. That is what I use. So now my skin is looking like uh, uh, amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. See, I'm already feeling better about myself because <laughs> the glow is on. So now I'm going to move on to lips. On an everyday basis, I normally just slightly wipe off some of my lip balm or kind of wipe it in. So I don't want too much product on my lip. And I'll lightly line my lips. So. I like to start my lining from up here. And I'm just using a brown pencil I picked up at my local beauty supply store. And I, I slightly feather in my bottom lip because I like when my top lip looks just a little bit more plump. I like that effect when it looks like it's kind of folding over. I kind of like that. I think that is really sexy. I really think that's sexy. And then I like to use a very uh, extremely hydrating lip product. So I'm going to first start off with this product. It is the Triple Butter Matte cream mango shea and cocoa butter cream from ruby kisses it looks like this these have been amazing for my lips like i have them in a couple different colors and i love how they sit on the lips i love how they kind of hydrate the lips and give the lips some color without making them um dry It's super moisturizing. You can build up the color without it just crumbling and falling apart and looking and have you looking like you're crazy. So I'll put that on and because I want like a glossy looking lip, like something like a little bit more juicy, I am gonna go in with my Oh, it is the High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss from LA Colors. It kind of looks like it's been separating a little bit, 
but I'm still gonna go for it. This one is in red. I'm just gonna add that to the lips. Lips are looking juicy already. I'm liking that. That's looking good. So I'm going to release my hair from these braids and come back to you guys with the final look. Okay guys, so I um, released my hair from those braids and just added a little bit of edge control or gel. I just used the activator gel. I also used the Curl Quench Coconut Curling Curl Smoothie for thick curly hair um, from Molly. It looks like that. And this is a treat for my hair, okay? Um, I put some of the some of the curl smoothie on my braids before I actually um, release them and yeah so this is the final look um, I didn't know what exactly to do with my hair I just knew I wanted to release those braids and I don't know so I think the final step is to use my Mario Badescu setting spray or facial mist just gonna slip in this on my face just to keep everything together and we're just gonna do a little bit of fanning I don't know what to do with this hair <laughs> I don't know maybe I could pin that back like that I don't know guys uh, give me some some natural hair hairstyles um, I don't know what to do with my hair I don't know what to do with my hair. This is the final look, guys. Of course, the light is coming in trying to play me. So, this is the final look. And I just touch up a little bit on my glow up. You know? Just a little bit on the glow. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't quite know. I just don't quite know what to do with my hair yet. Yeah? I've got to get up and do stuff, you know? Be a little better, do a little better, yeah? I don't, I don't know, maybe I should, Let's see, maybe I could bring this bit back. Bring this bit back. Let it let it have its moment. That little flip over. That looks worse. That looks worse. 